Repent and turn yourselves from your idols. Sudden death, accident or appointment. Today is just another normal day until sudden death strikes. We see it all around us, a car accident, fire, a heart attack or a stroke, violent crime, a fall and a sharp blow to the head or even a lightning strike. Nobody who has died in a sudden manner woke up on that day thinking that it was their last, their last chance to repent before judgment day. We all have an appointment with death, but only God knows when our appointment is. None of us are guaranteed tomorrow. Hebrews 9.27 And it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. The Bible teaches and warns that planning one's life while ignoring our guilty position before God is foolish. The wages of sin is death, and God will someday require the wages of one's sin to be paid in full. Romans 6.23 For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Luke 12.19-20 through 20. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then whose shall those things be which thou hast provided? If your soul was required of you today, where would you go? Heaven or hell? Face reality. You do not have to believe in truth for it to apply to you. Our beliefs do not form reality. The most real, pure, and true thing in this world is the Word of God, the Holy Bible. We can trust God's Word. His words are the words of life. Psalm 12, 6-7 the words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord, thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. Psalm 119, 89 Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Jesus Christ is the word made flesh, the living word of God, the just one, the Savior, the Messiah, the way, the truth, and the life. John 1.14 And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Revelation 19.11-13 And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. God created us, and we have all sinned against him. He doesn't owe us anything. In fact, he has already given more mercy than we deserve. Those who reject His Son, Jesus Christ, are always in danger of sudden destruction. There is no guarantee for another chance to repent. Proverbs 29.1 He that being often reproved hardeneth his neck shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy. Job 21.13 They spend their days in wealth, and in a moment do go down to the grave. Ecclesiastes 9.12 For man also knoweth not his time, as the fishes that are taken in an evil net, and as the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time, when it falleth suddenly upon them. Proverbs 28.18 Whoso walketh uprightly shall be saved, but he that is perverse in his ways shall fall at once. Job 12.9-10 who knoweth not in all these that the hand of the Lord hath wrought this? In whose hand is the soul of every living thing and the breath of all mankind? Numbers 16, 32 through 33. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up, and their houses, 
and all the men that appertained unto Korah, and all their goods, they and all that appeared to them, went down alive into the pit, and the earth closed upon them, and they perished from among the congregation. Acts 12.23 And immediately the angel of the Lord smote him, because he gave not God the glory, and he was eaten of worms, and gave up the ghost. God is holy and just, and he has every right to judge the lost and rebellious sinner at any time of his choosing. There was a collision in the intersection, and the motorcyclist has been pronounced deceased since the collision. A crash that turns his front yard into a, well, into a morgue. The victims pulled from the wreckage one by one. Four are killed. We begin with a developing story about three local teens who died in a car crash. Two other teens are listed in critical condition. We begin this day with breaking news. A fourth victim of that car crash involving students from Brunswick High School has died. Fox and the driver of the car, Jeffrey Chaya, were both supposed to graduate yesterday from Brunswick High School. Tragedy in Kentucky. Nine people are dead. How do you go about burying eight young kid kids? New details on the deadly tiger attack earlier today at the Palm Beach Zoo. Rick, for three years, Stacy Conweiser pursued her passion here at the Palm Beach Zoo, working with the zoo's tigers. Today, as she prepared for a routine tiger talk, zoo officials say that a male tiger attacked her in a behind-the-scenes building away from the public where the tigers eat and sleep. Seven Eyewitness News has also just confirmed with state parks officials that a 14-year-old Buffalo teen died in a snowmobile crash at Allegheny State Park. It happened Sunday in the Red House section of the park. Investigators say Gabrielle Brzezinski lost control and slammed into a tree. His father and sister were with him on separate sleds. He died at Olean General Hospital. State police say it happened at Little Lakes Road and Jordanville Road in the town of Warren. They say Drew was heading north and passed a stop sign on Little Lakes Road, hitting the passenger side of Karasik's vehicle, which was heading east on Jordanville Road. Drew and Larissa Karasik were pronounced dead on the scene. One man was shot and killed inside a home on Highland Avenue at about 4 o'clock this morning. Tonight, that victim has been identified as Timothy Bailey. Police say someone broke in through the back door of the house and shot him. A 23-year-old man died in a snowmobile crash in Bemidji Saturday. They pronounced him dead at the scene. Police say Ryan was apparently driving alone when he struck a mailbox, a telephone pedestal, and several trees. 19-year-old Michael Altman of Waterville was killed in the crash. Hartford police tell us he was thrown from his bike and on collision on Route 12 near Brimfield Street. Altman was pronounced dead on the scene. The whale that killed Don Brancho today is the largest whale in captivity, and it has killed before. Dawn Brancho loved the water. She lived by it at a home on Live Oak Lake in St. Cloud, and she worked in water as a 16-year whale trainer at SeaWorld in Orlando. It's where she died, too. A family watching as a mother on a roller coaster 14 stories high falls to her death. She goes up like this, and then when it drops to come down, that's when it released, and she just the daughter and her son-in-law yelling and screaming, my mom's falling off. The men described the attack on their friend as absolutely ferocious. A West Milton woman is killed after a snowmobile accident early this morning. Ohio State Highway Patrol troopers tell 2 News 20-year-old Katherine Hobbs was the passenger on the snowmobile. This morning we are following breaking news. Four people are dead after this horrible crash here in Chula Vista. Yeah, two cars crashed here with one of them completely split in half. There is not much left of that house in Tuscarawas County. The man who lived there did not make it out alive. It happened around 9 o'clock at a home on Beaver Street. It may be some time before investigators know for sure exactly what happened, but all indications are that this was a natural gas explosion. And it rocked the neighborhood. It had some neighbors jumping out of their chairs, jumping out of their beds, even rushing out of their homes. It was Dean Taylor's bowling night, and just minutes after he got home, his house blew up and rocked the whole neighborhood. Like a, like a bomb drop. I mean, a, a tremendous boom, an explosion, a huge explosion. It was un unbelievable. He ran outside, and this is what it looked like. The house was gone. All that was left was a mountain of fire. Like you say, he is one of the nicest brothers you could have wanted. Claire Taylor says his 77-year-old brother had not mentioned any prior problems with natural gas. 
The Highway Patrol is still trying to piece together what led to the crash early Sunday morning. The 2014 Ford Mustang went off the road and hit a tree before catching on fire. Joshua Lee, a cross-country runner, passed away at the hospital. Soccer players James Campbell and Mills Sprull and tennis team captain Sarah Vandenberg died at the scene. Saturday afternoon in Kings Mountain, the homeowner calls 911 after hearing the chilling screams outside. Somebody fell into a wood chipper. I need an ambulance and a police call. Okay. I said, tell me what's wrong with Mason. And he said, there's been a terrible accident. And that was the end of my world. Alice Neal raised Mason Cox for the first seven years of his life. The family says the Ashbrook High School graduate joined his cousin in taking on a job at this tree cutting service. But not long after the wood chipper turned on, neighbors say it went silent. Authorities suspect he was pulled in feet first when he tried to kick the branches into the feeder. Investigators will also look to see how much training Cox received, although it will never bring him back. Our top story this morning, two teenage boys died while scuba diving in Monterey Bay late yesterday morning. This house on 14th Street in Wheeling turned out to be the scene of one bizarre and violent incident. Relatives of 63-year-old David Wallace say he suffered a heart attack. Two people were in the house with him, including 62-year-old Roy Higginbotham. And this female pit bull was in the house too. A woman who was with them says Higginbotham tried to give aid to Wallace. Wallace's pit bull attacked Higginbotham. He bled profusely and died. A search for a killer bear near Yellowstone National Park. That bear or bears, it's unclear this morning, attacked three campers, killing one of them. Jose Molina was performing maintenance on a 35 foot long oven in 2012. A co worker mistakenly thought he was in the bathroom and filled the pressure cooker with 12,000 pounds of canned tuna and turned it on. His body was found two hours later after the pressure cooker, which reached 270 degrees, was turned off and opened. Florida near Tampa, where last night the earth opened up as it does increasingly and thousands of times every year in this country. This time it swallowed a 37-year-old man as he slept in his home. Our report tonight from NBC's Gabe Gutierrez. In his bed one minute, gone the next. Well, let's see what's at the top of his bed. Jeremy Bush says he heard a loud crash, then his brother Jeffrey screaming late last night at their home near Tampa. He jumped into the massive hole in a desperate attempt to rescue his brother. And I couldn't get him. All I could hear was, I thought I could hear him screaming for me and holler for me to help him. I couldn't do nothing. But God is also merciful and loving, and he has warned you about the fact that you are guilty before him. We have all broken God's Ten Commandments. Ecclesiastes 7.20 For there is not a just man upon the earth that doeth good and sinneth not. God is holy, and your sin must be paid for. God sent his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to save sinners like you and me. Without salvation in Jesus Christ, there is no hope. Hell and the lake of fire await the lost, who are spiritually dead in their sin. Psalm 9:17, The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God. Revelation 20, 14-15, And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Ephesians 2, 5, Even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ, by grace are ye saved. Proverbs 11, 7. When a wicked man dieth, his expectation shall perish, and the hope of unjust men perisheth. The Lord Jesus Christ warned in Luke 12, 4 through 5. And I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him which after he hath killed, hath power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. Acts 2.21 Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Mark 16.16 16. But he that believeth not shall be damned. Those of us who have humbly repented and put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ have had all of our sins forgiven. We are saved. 
We have been born again of the Holy Spirit. The saved do not fear death. We do not fear what flesh can do unto us. God is our Savior. Psalm 56, 4. In God will I praise his word. In God I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. Proverbs 35. Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. 1 Timothy 1.15 This is a faithful saying, and worthy of all acceptation, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. Psalm 18.46 The Lord liveth, and blessed be my rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. Just because God has not dealt suddenly with you up until this point in your life, do not harden your heart and believe the lie that he never will. Ecclesiastes 8.11 Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. God is sovereign. He can do whatever he wills to you at any time. He holds your very next breath in his hand. Job 12.10 In whose hand is the soul of every living thing and the breath of all mankind. Acts 17.24-28 God that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands, neither is worshipped with men's hands, as though he needed anything, seeing he giveth to all life and breath and all things, and hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth, and hath determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation, that they should seek the Lord, if haply they might feel after him and find him, though he be not far from every one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, as certain also of your own poets have said, for we are also his offspring. If you choose to reject his truth, the gospel of his Son, Jesus Christ, you condemn yourself. You gamble with your very own eternal soul. This is the essence of pride. Proverbs 16:18 Pride goeth before destruction, and an haughty spirit before a fall. John 3:36 He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not on the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Jesus Christ said, There is none good but one, that is, God. Matthew 19:17 Except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Luke 13:5 Please repent. You are under God's wrath, and you are not guaranteed another day, another chance. Today is the day of salvation. Please do not reject God's grace any longer. Mark 1.15 And saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye, and believe the gospel. 2 Corinthians 6, 1 through 2 We then, as workers together with him, beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of God in vain. For he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I succored thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Isaiah 55, 6 Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. God is ready, willing, and able to forgive your sins. This is the good news of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no guarantee of another chance. Please do not gamble with your soul any longer. Many souls in hell wish that they could have the chance which God has given you today. The chance to repent and be saved. Turn from your idols.com.